guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm doing a review on two Lancome products that I use on my face. Um, one being the Mattifying Purifying Toner for oily skin and the other is the Bifacial Instant Cleanser um, for sensitive eyes and it's just basically an eye makeup remover. So I'm going to talk about this one first. Um, I bought this toner in uh, November, so it's been four months and I absolutely love the size of this bottle. It um, just really feels like it's value for money. And um, I, I think that even though it's full of liquid, it's still quite light and it's plastic, but it's durable enough for traveling, which you know, um, last year and this year I've done a lot of. And um, it comes with like, um, I've shaken it up right now, but um, it comes up with a powdery form here, which helps mattify your face. And then the liquid part here, which is a bit more, which um, tightens the pores and it also claims to target the sebum production. So, as you know, all you have to do is shake it up till it comes into like a milky formula. And then you just twist the cap off and it has a nice big hole. And all you have to do is just get like a regular co cotton swab and just dip it like this once. And I just really focus it on the areas that are very oily for me. So I don't apply it everywhere, um, just on like the T-zone and then a bit on my cheeks. I do feel like it has a little bit of a tightening effect once I have put that on. And I have noticed that the size of my pores have gone down. But I'm not sure if it's because of this product or is it because in conjunction to this I use a Clarins Pore Minimizing Serum which obviously does what it says. So I can't really say which one is doing the job, but one of them is. Maybe this just helps along, I don't know. In terms of mattifying my face, um, that's also quite hard for me to say as of right now because the seasons that we are in are quite drying and you know, in the summer obviously you produce more oil. So um, even though I have oily skin, I, I will still produce oil no matter what season it is. Um, I feel like I'm not too oily. Um, again, is it because of this? I, I really can't say. Um, I don't use a primer on my face um, before foundation that is specific to mattifying or for oily skin. So um, I, I, n I don't know. Um, but I love it as a toner. It really, after I've cleansed my face, um, I really feel like this just picks up the added um, makeup residue that has been left on my skin, some dirt and everything like that. And it's quite surprising that even if you do use a really good cleanser, that there's still um, a lot in your skin that you didn't realize. So I do believe toners are essential parts of my facial regime. And um, I love just the fact that this really did pick up everything and um, I feel much cleaner with it on. And I just use this um, in the mornings and I use it in the nights too. So um, I use it both. So I really like this and I will buy this again. But um, because I've only just got into toners, I would like to try some other ones too. And I think that will help me um, make a good comparison between that and this because right now I have nothing to compare this to. So I like it and I would recommend it, but would I if I had tried something else? I'm not sure. So just keep that in mind. And if you guys are using any toners at the moment that you really, really like, um, please let me know because I would love to try them. And um, yeah, so I like it, but we'll see. And then this one, which is the cutest because it's like the mini version of the toner in terms of packaging. Isn't that cute? And the color is just lovely. Um, it kind of just makes me want to like dive in there and swim around. <laughs> um, and it has like the oily part and like the liquid part. And it says non-oily, but that doesn't mean that there isn't oil because obviously something has to separate the two, right? And what I like about this, and I think a lot of people also have this issue with um, sort of oil-based products, is that will it feel thick and greasy on my skin afterwards? And I would definitely firmly and confidently can say that it doesn't give you that feeling. It's more of a lighter version of Johnson's baby oil on your skin after rather than having like a thick olive oil residue on the back of your hand or you know wherever you're like removing makeup. Um, it just gives like that slight oil finish which um, is not greasy and it kind of feels very nourishing and hydrating. I feel like your skin kind of soaks it, it needs that. So I like it for that reason. 
I could be completely wrong in saying that this is extremely expensive, but I feel like it was for a little eye makeup remover, but this is the only size that it comes with. Now, I bought mine for sensitive eyes, but I do believe that there is one which are for normal eyes too, but my Lancome counter didn't um, provide that one for me. Um, they just gave me this one, which was fine. And um, I'll give you a little demonstration. So I have a cotton swab here, and I will just put... Um, a Stila Cardial Eye Pencil on, so I'll colour that in a little bit more so you can see it. And then I will put a black eyeliner on. These are normally things that I put on my face on a day-to-day -day basis. And then here I have like a telescopic carbon black mascara by L'Oreal, and I'll just paint that on too. So I'll let it dry a little bit. So you just get a cotton swab like this, screw the cap off. And the hole is a little bit smaller than the toner, which is okay, but it's kind of annoying because you can't just dip it once. You have to kind of shake it and get a bit more product on. So um, once you've got that on, you just place it on your hand and then swipe away. And this is how much came on. And that's quite a lot. If um, And it's just wiped it completely clean. And as I said, the feeling here is not greasy at all. You can feel like something was on, but it feels very nourishing, very hydrating. I like that effect. And um, so that's what I have to say about this. Um, is it worth buying? I think so, because it really does work and like takes off a very stubborn cardials that I wear. Um, but I would have to give a massive big flash red warning right here in this video because I, the only downside and the reason why I can't purchase this again is that I'm allergic to it and that is like obviously the major factor here is that um, I found that when I was using this at night time and I only use this at night that um, along my eyes right here I would get like a dry raised patch and it would start to itch just here and when I wouldn't use this that drying and that raised bumps would go so I knew it was definitely this because this is the only product I use on my eyes. So I don't know what ingredient is in here that is making my eyes go dry and itchy, but it is this because as soon as I eliminate it, I'm back to normal. So although it's for sensitive eyes, so therefore contact lens wearers can wear this or use this, um, I would definitely have to say um, be very careful with this product. And I've never heard of anyone really have a reaction to this. So if you do, um, let me know and um, uh, yeah as I said I've really never heard of anyone having a problem with this but unfortunately I don't even think you can ask for samples or um, I don't know how else you can try it out this is the only size that there is so if you do buy this and you know it doesn't work out for you you can always give it to your mum or your um, sister or you know whoever will use this. I'm giving this to my sister now. She doesn't, she has no problem with this, which I'm super jealous about because I loved it. So yeah, that's the downside. So those are the two products right here. And um, you can tell by the sizes, but they're pretty good. They last a long time. I'm, I've been very happy with both of these. Unfortunately, as I said, can't use this anymore. But I think I will um, look into buying this again once I've tried maybe one or two others. So I hope that was a good and thorough review for you girls and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!